Aloha guys, hope everyone's doing well and good morning. It is Monday, October 12th and I guess almost noon, so there's that. And I just used a Freewell filter and uploaded some sample footage. It's actually this one for the Mavic Air 2. It's the anamorphic lens and if you go down here, where are you? It's this guy, so $39.99. I have a link for my Amazon account down below in my description I'll put, but as I said, so I'd appreciate it if you can buy from there if you do buy. But this lens is pretty cool. I mean, it's basically a quick little lens. It's easy to put on and off because you can grab that little piece in the front. The only thing is the gimbal cover doesn't fit if that is on your drone. So be aware of that. Um, it has a de-squeeze factor of 1.15. So take note of that because I believe most of the lenses, the anamorphic lenses have, it's usually 1.33x. So for me, when I shot the footage that I shot the last few days, I didn't really know what to do with it once I actually had the footage to de-squeeze it and do what was needed. And I Googled and couldn't really find much. I did find one YouTube video, which was pretty helpful, actually. And it was this guy right here. So I would put a link. I'll put a link to his video as well. I believe it's Momentum Productions. He did a really nice job, and it applies to Premiere as well. I'm going to do it in Final Cut Pro. But what he essentially went through was this. So this was some of the footage that I shot. I'm going to mute my computer, and you could kind of see how it's more of a wider field of view. See how it's thinner and wider? And what you do here, I'll show you. So we're going to go over here. And I'm going to create, this is Final Cut Pro, a new project. And then here, what you essentially do, we'll go Freewell Anamorphic Lens. And we have it in 4K footage. That's what I'm going to be working with. So normally, 4K footage is 3840 by 2160. So what we're concerned with essentially is the horizontal axis. So the horizontal, meaning the 3840 number. So what we're going to do, and this was what I kind of figured out after watching that guy's video, which was really helpful. We're going to go into here. There's no real options down here. So we're going to go here. We're going to go into the video section and go into custom. Now custom, what we're going to do, we're going to select the frame rate, which was shot. So I shot in 24 frames per second. I'm going to go over here to calculator. And I'm not good at math. But what you do is if it was a 1.33 X type anamorphic lens, which this one isn't, as I said, it's a 1.15, you would take that 3840 number. So 3840. And let's say that first one, the 1.33, that's 5107. So that would be the number you would enter in here but this is again 1080 footage. So here, let's just X out of this to not get confusing. But the bottom number, if we have 4K, is 2160. So right, so we 2160. So we're gonna keep that number. So we're gonna go 2160. And then we're only gonna be changing this X axis, as I said, the horizontal number. And that is going to be 3840 multiply for the Freewell lens 1.15. And that's going to give us 4416. So I'm going to put 4416 in here. And we're essentially making a project specific to these ratios for the anamorphic lens, the Freewell one, as I said, with the 1.1 X factor, as you see, D squeeze factor 1.15x. And that's what I kind of had to look up because it wasn't working with the other one to 1.33. And from here, we're going to hit OK. And now we got a project with those um, measurements. So now if I go into my finder window, and I have some of this footage from say some from yesterday. Let's see. So something like this even, just cruising around the Hancock, nothing epic, but pretty cool. I'm gonna drag it into my timeline and say we wanna color grade a little bit. So what I'm gonna do, 
just to show you a little bit of color grading, I'm gonna go in the color under effects. I'm gonna go to custom LUT, drag this onto my clip, and now from here, I can go into this section, so my little effects panel, and now I can choose a LUT that I believe may work good. I have buttery film LUTs, I believe, and say this is just a contrast curve, something like that. Let me see, maybe I'll try another one. No, that one looks worse, so I'm gonna see either the first one, or that one actually looks better than I think the first. Yeah, so I'm gonna stick with that LUT first, and now I can go ahead and maybe do a color wheel and then increase maybe the overall saturation a bit. Um, now you can control the shadows and the master, meaning the master brightness. And you could always hit Command Z to undo. This isn't a color grading tutorial, but I'm just going to kind of show you a little bit. And maybe warm it up a teeny bit and call it a day for the moment. But as you see, right now it's not filling up the screen the way it should. So what you need to do for the last step is essentially going into this film strip area and then in transform, this x-axis is what we're gonna be concerned with. And if it was 1.33, which it isn't, it's 1.15 for the Freewell lens. If it was 1.33, you would put 133 in here for percentage, bloop, stretching, but you don't. We need one point or 115. So 115, boom, and that should be it. Now, I'm not 110% positive, but I'm pretty darn certain this is exactly what we're supposed to be doing. And now we have it filling the frame the right way and we de-squeezed the footage and now it's giving us this kind of cool widescreen feel and look to it. Now if we did 133 for example, which I didn't know for certain, but I figure just try it, you see it's too like spread out. So that doesn't look good, that looks much better. So that's essentially what you need to do. So again, to kind of go over this one more time, we're gonna go new, create a new project we're gonna go into this area. Well, well, here, let me name it Anamorphic Tutorial for Freewell Lens. And then we're gonna go over here. If it was 1080, for example, you would just take this 1920 number and multiply it by 1.15. And then you'd put 2208 in, the, in this number. You'd go to Custom, you'd put 2208 by 1080 and that would give you that type of crop factor if you're working with 1080 footage but we're working with 4k footage so we're going to go in and again go to custom put in that number that we had over here which was 3840 multiplied by 1.15 again if you look over here this is the number worth that's where we're getting that number back over to the calculator. We're gonna hit enter and we're gonna hit 44, I mean 4416. So 4416 and then we're gonna keep the 2160 number. That's not gonna change. We're gonna open it up and hit okay. And then we're gonna drag in some footage. Let me drag something else in. Okay, maybe that footage. We're gonna drag this guy in. You know, we can color grade again by going into the color area. And again, just so you're aware, some of these LUTs that I use are from butteryfilms.com and they're pretty awesome. So you can go ahead and support those guys. But we're gonna go right over here, drag a custom LUT onto the clip. And then from here, I can go into LUTs and I'm gonna scroll down to this guy, and then I can maybe add a color wheel and get the saturation up a little bit, maybe do that. 
and kind of call it a day for a second because that's not what this tutorial is about. But And then we go into this little film strip icon and then we just have to change the X axis to 115%. So 115%. So now we have, you know, we could add a little music or something. Boop. Let me see. What do we have for music? You know, anything. We can throw that down. Get some movement. And start editing together some cool footage with the Freewell anamorphic lens. So definitely not too much work. It's pretty easy to work with. And again, if I want to, I can just command I'm on a Mac, C, copy, and then add another clip, for example, drag it into the timeline, and then just hit shift command V and to paste all the attributes, and voila. We now have another clip to kind of work with. So super easy, take advantage of that and tweak. The footage looks pretty good in my opinion. And someone was actually asking what the footage looks like side by side. And I'll show you a little bit here. Let me do one more project with anamorphic lens, no D squeeze. And we're just going to keep the standard 4K resolution shot at 24 frames a second. And let's drag in the same clip and let's take a peek so here let me just color grade really quickly so you guys actually learn a little bit too essentially what I do with the color grading so you guys are aware I add a contrast LUT and then I can color grade a little bit accordingly and that is a good way to kind of start so boom boom a little bit nothing crazy maybe add a little sharpening by adding one of these little finishing plugins that I have. As you see, I kind of get into the color grading side of it, but regardless, that's right now. Here, let me add something. Hold on one more minute, and I'm going to try to show you. I'm going to go into my Drobo, scroll down to YouTube, Mavic Air 2, anamorphic footage. Let me try to just drag this in and you can see essentially what it would look like full screen. So you look over there, that's as shot without doing anything. And then it will go into the pretty cool, thinner, wider looking content and just give you a different look and feel entirely. So that's that guys i hope it really helps enjoy happy shooting get out there get editing and again i'll have a link to this lens in the description below if you want to buy purchase there it will help out the channel hit that subscribe button i'm almost getting near a thousand subscribers i'm going to give a really cool print away to the thousand subscribers so for all you guys good luck and aloha bye bye